Hi guys, welcome to the live. For those that do not know me, I am Tabitha, psychic, medium, healer, and starseed. Okay, today I'm going to be talking about Octurian star seeds and um, the Octurius star. So Octurius star is actually the brightest in the constellation of Bootis. It comes off as a red star. It is 7.1 billion years old. Um, so the Bootis constellation is actually uh, the fourth brightest in the northern celestial hemisphere. And then on top of that, this Octurius star is a part of that and is it, its brightest. So its distance from Earth is actually 36.66 light years away. It's part of the diamond Virgo, uh, Spica, and the Kite. So maybe I can actually pull up um, a picture for you guys. Let's just see here. Um, perfect, so this is what I'm talking about here. So if you actually follow the Big Dipper, it will take you down to the kite, which will take you really close to um, Octurus star. And then the next closest to that would be Spica, and this is all part of the, the diamond of Virgo. So this star is actually really unique. Um, it moves at a different angle and speed, which is different from like the way that the stars move in the Milky Way. Um, it was formed, they believe it was formed as a result of a dwarf planet hitting um, or colliding with the Milky Way. Um, so Octurus is actually a derivative from the ancient Greek word, which ends up translating to bear guardian. Um, so the stronger, so this, so this star is actually um, compared to our star, the sun, is brighter, hotter, um, and just bigger. So I believe, um, yeah, so the Romans even considered um, this particular star to control storms, weather, magic. They thought it had a lot of like uh, magical properties to it. It is mentioned or referenced in the Bible as well. So it's a pretty big star, it's a pretty big deal. Um, so now I'm gonna actually move on to um, Octurian star seeds themselves. So um, I'm gonna talk a little bit about them and then a little bit about um, the Octurian star seeds. So they're very intelligent and wise extraterrestrial beings. They're actually here as star seeds to help with um, advancing our technology and communications because that's something that they're really good at. Um, so they're able to, okay, so like when I'm saying they have like a really high intelligence, it's in stuff like technology, quantum, physics, sacred geometry, mathematics, astronomy. Like we actually believe um, that this is where some of that like information has actually come from. Uh, it was passed down from the Octurians. So uh, they really like to travel um, and they're really, really good at communication, okay? So they can communicate in many, many different types of ways. So for example, like they could communicate through light language, they might communicate through shapes, colors, frequencies, um, numbers, they're just really good at transmitting. These are the race that if you, they kind of talk a little bit um, like a computer, if we were probably to hear them. Um, they do a lot of channelings actually, um, but I'll get into that after. So uh, they actually have a starship named Athena, which I think is really cool. Um, and like I said, they can speak in many different types of ways, like telepathy and light language and numbers and shapes and colors and transmissions. Um, they create sustainable civilizations. Um, so they do that throughout the, the galaxies um, or actually throughout the universe. Um, so how do you know? Um, okay, so just one more thing too. So um, I don't know if you've ever heard like their channelings, but it is kind of like robotic. Like they will sound like we are here, the Octurian starseed race. Like it will come out like that, um, but it's just because of the frequency that they're on. And it's actually kind of good because it makes us really like unbiased when we're listening to just like a sound that kind of sounds like similar. So like they would all sound the same to us. That way we can't be like, oh, that 
person or that being is less capable than that being or whatever it may be. It's like no judgment is involved. Anyways, moving on to are you an Octurious star seed? So on earth, uh, you might make a, like a really wise spiritual teacher. Um, you would be here to help advanced technology uh, you would probably be a very strong communicator um you'd have a very activated throat chakra um that allows you to transmit their their messages um they're really loving beings so here on earth they are still really loving and they love to encourage others uh, they may have really strong personalities, um, but they actually they love to share their wisdom. So um, they're really generous with their knowledge. They want everyone to be like uh, successful. Um, they want everyone to be su sustainable. Really, they re they're here to help us um, to become more sustainable in many different um, aspects. Um, so they come off as like very capable round like well-rounded and able to do anything kind of in um the on earth like if you are that type of star seed um since child you would probably ha know that you had like a sole purpose or like a unique reason for like being here um usually it's later in life that they actually really step into their purposes um, this is because it propels them to learn and investigate everything they possibly can about uh, their like life here um, or just like even ancient knowledge like it might really spark them um, like their awakening might happen later and it's because they're supposed to like in endure all these types of like perhaps experiences or just come across all of this knowledge um, that leads them to their big purpose. But they will always know that they have this, this purpose. Um, so these beings uh, here on earth um, can sometimes be like dissatisfied um, more often than not and it's just because they can they can see things like for what they can be so sometimes they're just like really dissatisfied or like dis d disappointed in like kind of like earth and like humans in a sense um sometimes black uh, they can be the black sheep of like a family or a friend group like they're, they're usually ones to like stand out i said they do have very like um unique or strong personalities uh but like i said they do make great public speakers uh motivational um coaches uh they're kind of the life of the party type of people um they're good at leading mass groups um and giving mass communication as well they love to be a creative and express themselves so writing music poetry drawing paints arts might be really attractive to you um, often they keep these star seeds tend to keep everything to themselves, um, but they will explain or they will express either like extreme anger or like extreme humor. So um, sometimes they can just be like one extreme to the other, uh, but they actually keep their their um, they tend to like keep their true feelings to themselves, but they display these like polar opposites to other people. Um, if you are here on earth as this type of star seed, you will love to travel. You'll be very um, drawn to culture, expanding awareness, uh, knowledge. You'd be a very compassionate, loving um, being. Uh, you might be very sensitive to smell, sound, light, chemicals. Uh, this is just because of your DNA. Um, they have a very unique DNA actually. Um, they are prone to low blood pressure. So if they are here on earth, they often are really cold. So these people will always probably be like, I'm cold, I'm cold. And everyone will be wearing like, um, you know, t-shirts and they'll be wearing a sweater. Uh, so, you know, warmer climates might be more attractive to them. Um, they love change. They really love change. Uh, they like breaking down old systems and rebuilding them. They like to be different. Um, they like to think outside the box. Like I said, they have a lot of knowledge. They're very um, advanced um, intellectually. Um, just even the way that they can communicate with literally like anyone in the universe or any being in the universe is really impressive. Um, 
they can sometimes come off distant and detached though but it's and like a little bit hard to get to know um but once you do like you will have a friend for life like they're extremely loyal in that sense they can just sometimes be hard to get to know uh i don't they're not very trusting star seeds um they like personal freedom and alone time um here on earth and they don't like to have to explain themselves a lot. So if you have a disagreement with them, maybe just give them space, or if you're not understanding something, don't maybe probe them too much. These also might be the type of people that get mad because you don't know automatically what it is that they want. Um, they, they might like expect you to kind of just be able to tell or like be able to read their mind. <laughs> Um, but nonetheless, they really love deep philosophies, questions, um, very intellectual topics will attract to them. They're really um, organized, they're builders, they like to plan. Um, so they're really cool star seeds. So comment down below guys if you have ever come across these beings on your travels. Um, galactically or you know uh, during your astral travels maybe at night um, or comment down below if you think that you are part of um, this uh, star family okay guys sending you so much love light and healing bye